different splash of color to the left of your screen, you will be correct. And if you observe in the mirror, there's a fishing pole. Uh -huh. I haven't been fishing since September when I came back from my vacation with my wifey down in Ocean City. That's Maryland, not New Jersey. So I'm going to pop out here to a spot I saw the other day on my harvest ride and see if I can't catch something. Oh. Ooh. There was just a motorcycle accident up the way there. Maybe why the road is closed. I heard something about it. A guy on a green sport bike, I guess. That's all I know. I don't know who it is. I don't think I know the person. But my heart goes out to he and his family. All the traffic that would normally come out of East Petersburg down Route 72 is getting stopped there at the light and uh, detoured around. One difficulty with this helmet cover is the way that the hair flows around the camera. I have to set the camera way, way out so that it doesn't obscure the camera image. It does change the point of view angle to a small extent. Fishing in Lancaster County is interesting. There's a lot of the local creeks and streams do get a little overfished, and it is because of those folks that just passed, unfortunately. They will keep any fish they catch. Whether it's legal to keep it or not, they just keep them. First time I saw that, I was fishing in Dubois, Pennsylvania. It was the first time I ran across an Amish person fishing. It was a younger Amish man, and he was there on the opening day of trout season, and bass were not in season, but he had one in his creel, and it wouldn't have even been a legal keeping size, but he had it in there, and I asked him about it and said, that's not a legal size to keep, and he just kind of looked at me. That was 23 years ago, 22 years ago, when I was still pretty new to the state and didn't really know that much about the Amish yet. This is a nice little curvy stretch of road. The other day when I came around here, I couldn't see where I was going because the sun was in my eyes. I couldn't really enjoy the corners as well. That is nice. Beautiful soybean field. There's a train track off that way. Lovely cornfield. Commercial land, 41 acres for sale. All right. Well, let's see where I can find a place to park the scoot. And then go for a little fisheroo here. There's grass growing on the bridge. Well, that's hilarious. A little unnerving, but hilarious. I don't know if the sound of the falls is coming through quite as well as I'm hearing it, but what a lovely sound that is. We got to be my fishing pole. Got the little panfish magnet on there. I'm gonna start with that and see what's what here. Find the easiest way down the bank. Don't see any posted signs. And it looks like I've got some easy access here. What I'm gonna have to do is scoot under here and probably scoot mostly on my butt down the hill. Okay, let's try a rooster tail, see what happens. I had good success with these in the past. And you just retrieve. Wow, something hit it. Huh. There's fish in there. Oh, hey, I did catch something. <laughs> oh. Look at that, a tiny little small mouth. <laughs> oh, and he's lost an eye. Well, he's a survivor then. One eye jack. Well, that's an interesting one. He has no eye on this side. But he's got a nice bright one on the other. So he saw enough to be able to find my lure. The problem I have with treble hook spinners like this is they, it's difficult to keep from snagging bottom with them. And then 
if you do catch something, it's very difficult to then unhook it. Rarely have I fished this lure and not caught something. I have caught so many fish with this lure design that it's one that I go back to every time. So we'll see if we catch something today. A twitching retrieve usually does the trick. Well, I got a bite on it. I'm gonna try a couple more times. Well, okay. <laughs> Trying a second time was good. <laughs> Another. <laughs> Creek job. <sighs> My finger's wet. And somebody tried to tell me once that these guys were an invasive species or whatever. These are creek chub. They are native to the area. They have that black spot on their dorsal fin. They are a native species distantly related to the brook trout, strangely enough. Well, my GoPro ran out of batteries, but here's another creek chub caught on that funky little thing, whatever it is. Nice size one too. This looks like a female. It's a large adult female. Does not have the spines on the head. That's why I think it's a female. My GoPro cut out on me for some reason. I'm not really happy with the Hero 7. It was what I could afford, so that's what I got. To be fair, it's not a great camera. Not from a usability standpoint, at least. Maybe I just got a bad one, I don't know. So I don't worry about anything coming that way. That's a good thing, at least. I do have to worry about people coming off the highway, though. Even though I am going the same speed as they are, they are near as cautious of me as they should be. I wish I could access the creek from right there. I think it's private property. I'm hoping that the hardened ship stretch of this road up here has settled. Oh, that's yucky. I love going through covered bridges. Well, we'll take a shot and see what happens. Shipping of this road did not go as well as they should have. It's one of the worst jobs I've ever seen. It's taken my time because this is. <laughs> this pavement wants to move around on me. That's exciting. Looks like they painted the markings, especially on the side there, before it is even set completely. So there's stones lining the edge that have white paint on them. 
And there's a bunch of holes in the weight line. <laughs> it's very nerve-wracking. I'm just glad I'm on this bike and not the other one. Once the road has set for a while and the gravel has stuck to the tar underneath, then this is fine, but right now it's dead. I can hear little bits of stone ricocheting off my wheels up into the engine and such. That's fun. This is one of my favorite riding roads because of that bridge. <sighs> So frustrating. So that was a lovely time fishing. I had an excellent time and I enjoyed myself immensely. Probably my last fishing video for the year just because of the time of year that it is. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed fishing. May you be safe, well, and blessed. Scootin' fool out.